Good morning. Welcome to another vlog, vlogging time, week number four. Today is October 22nd and it's Sunday 11-24. I am going to start my day or my week with another brunch. I think this is the third brunch in a row that I attend with my friend Maria. Um, I love going to brunch and um, Carlos love partying ways with me at least on Sunday. So that means today we're going to go have um, brunch and then do a little bit of shopping. Carlos is going to do all the um, prep for the week, meaning going to a supermarket. And uh, we went to church yesterday. So I take you guys with me. It's going to be almost the last week of October, so all the candy, all the baking, is, I think, is gonna happen this week. So, let's go. Monday, October 23rd, and it's almost noon. I have done a little bit of reading and I slept three hours last night. Um, I went to bed at 10 quite early and um, I just couldn't couldn't fall asleep and I was tired. So I couldn't like read or do anything. It was just, I needed one to sleep, but my body was on. So <sighs> going slow today. Um, I am going to host a pumpkin carving party on Wednesday. So I want to start by figuring out what I want to make food wise and then or like have snacks. And then I want to go get some pumpkins today as well. So I have them like here. I need three more or four more. So that's, that's that. And then besides that, I have not knitted much i own the left panel and i think i'm on like color five or something like that so that's fun but i went <laughs> oh man i went thrifting or to the second craft shop in austin and look what i found you will not believe i found this thing there's a lot of it in here this cane Oh, and it was a dollar. <laughs> I couldn't pass it. I got that. And besides that, I got a bag of um, plat scraps. But 
what we went to get was foam because I have some um, little, like a little dining set on my porch on the back and I wanted to make some um, cushions. So I got four of these uh, for 50 cents each and I'm gonna go ahead and measure the circle that I have to uh, make the cushions for and then just cut it out. Um, this is not for the outside, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and waterproof it. Um, and then it was like 50 cents though. I wanna make it so I can change it, but they were 50 cents for a little piece. And I think I can get, I can get probably this one. Yeah, some are like taller than, the, or like taller than the others. I can probably get the strip that goes around the cushion, like, you know, the neck of the cushion. And then I can get the rounds on, like a, like a taller one. But yeah, I paid $2, so I only have to get, like I said, the foam. Because I, I, every time I go there, I see tons of foam. And every single time since I decided that I needed the foam for cheap, they're being out of it. So, or nobody has. Um, yeah, I don't know what this was. Because they have a theme here. But maybe they were cur uh, curtains or whatever. But isn't that cute? It's so cute. Anyway, that's it. Let me... Let me make this happen. Tuesday the 24th of October and um, it's a Tuesday so that means Carlos go to his uh, physical office um, I am going to leave the house because I need to get um, some pumpkins for the pumpkin thing that I have tomorrow and then I need the uh, phone for this so I'm going to take this with me so I don't over buy foam because I know they sell it uh, by the yard or I don't know. So I'm just going to take this with me. Besides that, I want to start some, I have a lot of wood on the um, garage because I start, I want to start something building wise and I know you guys are not into that, <laughs> but I may do a little project because I want to alleviate a little bit of the space in my kitchen. I have a lot of condiments. so. We will get that stuff for that. Um, so that's the plan for today. I yesterday read and did a big dent on the sweater. So I'll show you guys that when I come back. But um, let's go shopping. <laughs>
okay i know what you guys are gonna say you're gonna say that's not the phone that you need for outdoor furniture and that's correct i know i know it's not the one um actually the fabric is not also outdoorsy so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go ahead and use this one and whenever we need them i'm going to keep them in storage and then just use them you know if we have like an event or whatever um because i don't want them to get wet in all the time um because in that corner like even the sprinklers would get them wet so i i want them also to keep the shape because they want that the phone that is for outdoor use i don't like it anyway start with the cushions because um, I think that's gonna be faster but I need to um, just finish the edge of the fabric and I need to change <laughs> the color of my serger and I hate doing that so I'm gonna try making the method of doing the little uh, knot but for me that never works ever so um, I'm I'm gonna try my best to finish those today and I want to start making a little spice rack for the pantry door but um, I want to double check all the measurements before I go crazy because I'm gonna make a mess so let's do that and let's hope because I, I think I can do that in a couple hours but maybe not <laughs> October 25th is almost 9 a.m. in the morning and I am waiting uh, for my uh, lash tech uh, to arrive so I can get my lashes done and um, besides that I have a pumpkin carving event and I didn't sleep, I didn't sleep well last night so I am a little not I don't know <laughs> anyway I'm gonna get my lashes done probably go, go to Barnes & Noble and then I report back. So I finished this task. The only thing that I didn't do was adding the ties into the cushions and then some of them, they look really homemade. Um, they look quite homemade, I will say. And I think it's just because I didn't have the piping. And then because I, for some reason, cut this area shorter than it needed to be, which I had a couple of inches, um, but not enough to make another one anyway whatever um so it's 
it looks kind of wonky. There's a lot of things happening. Um, so I didn't have a piping. The piping kind of like really makes it really nice. And um, I also wanted to do half an inch of uh, seam allowance, but because I cut it too short, I had to do a quarter. And then to that, I didn't want it to do the, you know, kind of the little snippets to make it open a little bit more because I didn't have enough uh, seam allowance. So, which is like, you know what? Under my butt, it's not gonna, nobody's gonna notice. So. That task is done. Uh, let me see what I move on to, or I'm just, I have not knitted today or read today. What's going on? Hello, guys. Uh, welcome to day number 26 of Vlogtober. It's Thursday, it's 9 30 in the morning, and I, um, I have not exercised. I'm making my breakfast because yesterday I had the biggest biggest headache you can imagine i had like a migraine i was nauseous i had an event with my friends um to kind of like carve the pumpkin so i had to postpone that one for saturday so we will do that on saturday um just because i was i was not feeling well at all so i haven't had any dinner or lunch yesterday so i'm making myself some food because i'm starving but it's 9 33 and um i'm going to do my oatmeal and my my eggs and i'm going to start working on the spice rack that we talk about briefly um i think a couple of days ago <clears throat> why i'm doing a spice rack on my door number one i want to alleviate a little bit of the space that uh all the spices are taking on my pantry this pantry is a shit show right now um I, I I do own a lot of things and I do own a lot of spices, but I feel right now where they are, which they're right here, um, I'm missing what I have and they're also taking too much space and I have a lot of vinegars and oils that I like to, you know, uh, have in hand and I want to have them so I can see them um, because right now they're hiding down there and then a bunch of those are here as well. So I have more spices here. <laughs> All this, these two are spices. And I want to alleviate a little bit the space of the teacups. It's just like probably, I don't know if it's me, but I feel like it's bowing a little bit. So I want to alleviate a little bit of the, the weight on the cabinet. And I want to see them. I want to see this. So, um, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my breakfast. And I'm going to make the frame. Like, take the measurements. Make the frame. I know you can buy a backing. Like a really thin plywood. Like a fourth of an inch. And you can have that. So it looks more finished. But I'm going to make the frame first. And I'm going to check. Because we have these grooves here. And I think the backing will help, but it's gonna be an added cost. Right now I am at, what, like $30? I don't wanna spend more than that on spices. But we'll see, <clears throat> we'll see. I'll take you guys whenever I arrive there. So I'm gonna make one up to right here. <clears throat> I think like four shelves. And then I'm going to see if I want to add down here something for my bags or if I actually wanna add anything to it. Because I saw some people even do like potato, uh, like a potato basket or like vegetable basket. And I think that's going to be too heavy. Um, so I prefer to alleviate the, you know, a space here and then have something for the potatoes in the shells and in the wall. So let's get to it. <laughs> okay, so Map the Builder has her map. It doesn't make any sense, but... Um, Whenever you are doing any kind of wood, anything, never, ever, ever believe what it says on the sticker. So here it says that this is a four, it's three and a half, <laughs> by one is three fourths, and then I have not measure <clears throat> the rest but it doesn't matter so i want to make sure that um you know i can make all the calculations and if i think it's going to be an inch it's going to be off so i took the, all the measurements and i'm going to cut two pieces that are 20 inches it's going to be as wide it's going to be the piece that's going to be on top and the bottom and then i'm going to have the side uh part uh, i want it to be 40 inch 
total so i'm going to take 1.5 inches out so that's going to be 38 and a half <laughs> and then the inside part you want to make sure that you're measuring three times before you put any kind of blade into this thing to cut it um so it's straight level and uh, you have the right measurements because um you can always go and get another piece of wood but this is 11 dollars, so we are not going to make mistakes so we can but we have to go get another 11 dollars. i would probably have to because i i think i need i may need more than i thought i would but let's let's get to it vlog has been all over the place yesterday i told you everything i did explain it on detail and then i erase the clip so i'm gonna try to sum it up you guys saw me building this up um i custom measure it and i propped it up and uh, now i have to pretty much get rid of all the nail holes and then cut all the seams so they look really profesh then I will paint this up. I'm not going to cover these holes because I was planning on, but then I don't know if this is gonna hold, so I don't want to like completely seal the holes and then have to like open them up and um, whatever. So we will we will cross that bridge whenever we get there. So um, this door is a little hollow, so that's why I'm a little worried. But right now it's not moving so we'll see i also did one down here and um and that was that um yesterday i was supposed to go to a uh, night pumpkin patch pretty much like a little um i don't know it was just like really cute and they cancel it because it was gonna it was gonna storm it didn't storm at all 
So it was, I was waiting for that thing for weeks and then they cancel it. So I was like kind of bummed out after going to tacos. But um, let me start with uh, my day. I've been knitting and the whole thing. Let me show you my knitting. Hold on, let's go. Okay, so um, left front panel is done. Um, I need to just go ahead and just cast off that edge. And then I will start with the right. I'm so excited. This is gonna be so cute. Um, whoo, can you see it? <laughs> um, I being knitting and reading. I I'm gonna call this the King of Ash, Kingdom of Ash. I'm just gonna rename it because this is what I've been reading while I being making this. Going smooth sailing. The only thing that I finished with this color, you see, and then here I already surpassed it. So I don't know if I did it wrong. Let's go ahead and just cast those off and then call it a day. Because I don't want the front to be longer than the back. But oh my god, it looks so good. It's so cozy. It's so nice. <laughs> stay in on a Saturday this is like so unlike us um, but we are hosting that pumpkin carving thing tonight with my friend Maria she's bringing her mom and we're gonna have some dinner so I have chicken already seasoned in the refrigerator and then I pull all the stuff to make some rice so that's all done and settled I need to get some potatoes and some pumpkin so we can carve a little bit more but she requested a dessert so I'm gonna make some apple cider donuts from this book um i have tried these donuts before and they are great they are awesome actually and then i wanted to make this recipe as well um i think i'm going to just go ahead and not do that one because i don't have the peanuts but i have all the ingredients to make this apple cider cheese donut so i'm going to make this dough let it rest on the refrigerator as well and then just get whatever i need and then just party well, not that much party, but you know what I mean. <laughs> tragic that your cheese is dead so I'm going to oh, I mean how not okay Baking is not my thing on October because I made those donuts and I measure everything 
and I weighed all the dry ingredients and they are too soft. I don't know what they're going to so I'm letting them prove. You're going to do like drop donuts. I don't know what else it is. <laughs> I'm Jinx. Oh, 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 oh